Hey folks, welcome back. Today I will be showing you guys how to add an X2M into your parallel quest via character, via reward, via pretty much anything. To keep things simple, you're pretty much going to want to get the mods installer, the patcher, I recommend the quest importer, and sample quest. Sample quest will contain a bunch of trivia pretty much dictating how X2Ms in parallel quest work. However, if you don't care about that, you can just follow my tutorial. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the patcher, the mods installer, and then drag all of that to your universe directory. Open up the quest importer and and then just drag, and I'd recommend World Tournament Tag Team to test this one out, however this works in Expert Missions too. So after you drag all that to the desktop, what you're going to want to do is open up characters.x2qs and then quest.x2qs in a notepad file. The reason you want only these two is because these are the only places you're going to end up dictating your X2M, and you're also going to want your X2M's ID, which I will show you how to get in just a second. I'm going to assume you already know how the basics of a parallel quest, because you shouldn't really be watching this video unless you already know how to make a parallel quest, but at least the basics, however. I just wanted to go over that quick summary just for any kind of newcomer. So after you open up quest.x2qs and character.x2qs, you're going to want to find your x2m, then open it with winrar. After opening it with winrar, you're going to see this x2m.xml file, which you're going to want to open. So after you open it, you're going to see a bunch of junk right here. This is just all the internal data relegated to the x2m. So what you're going to do is find this tab right here, mod underscore dot guid. What you're going to do is highlight it and then copy it. Then what you're going to do is go back to quest.x2qs and then under your text entry for your title or just at the top, you want to type in X2M mod, any name, it doesn't have to be challenge 8, open bracket, name, GUID, and then close bracket. I will leave this in the description for you to copy and paste. The name here does not matter. However, you want to paste your GUID for your mod right there. This will make it so the quest will load it in, I'll load the quest in game. So after putting the GUID, depending on what this was, if this was a character, you're going to want to do this right here. So depending on where you want the character to appear inside of the mission, you're going to want to place that exact name you type right here onto one of the characters inside of the mission itself. So, say you want to replace the Ultimate Finishing World Tournament Tag Team with an X2M character, you're going to want to do this. Highlight Piccolo right here, and then Control V it to Challenge 8, which is just the dev text that I've made for this video. Now that this is relegated to Challenge 8, the X2M I put over Piccolo will show up instead of Piccolo side of the quest. Now, if it's a skill, you, what you're going to do is literally the same thing. You're going to want to make it so you do the X2M mod and GUID. However, you put the text down here in one of their super or an ultimate or evasive slot. Just say for the sake of simplicity, you make this skill. This will be the X2M skill, and their X slot right here. So if you make this an X2M Kamehameha or something, this will literally be the skill right here in game, as long as you link it inside of here. Now, if you want to make the skill reward, what you're going to want to do is change, you see skill reward. This this is why World Tournament Tag Team is a really good mission because it has item and skill reward. If you want to make the X2M skill a reward, what you're going to want to do is copy and paste this over the zero and make this skill or whatever you named your skill X2M. If you want the X2M character to appear on the character portrait, you're going to want to do this. Hover over Gok, then replace it with challenge challenge 8, or whatever your dev text was. You put character, your X2M character, costume, and then all that. This will let the X2M character show up in the quest portrait. If it's a stage, you're going to want to put the dev text here over... F10, right? With no quotation mark. Item rewards would be the same thing, but I don't think it's possible to make item X2Ms yet, so don't worry about that. But that's pretty much it on how to add an X2M into your mission. However, now what you're going to want to do is actually load the X2M in game and bundle it with the quest itself so that the quest will actually load the X2M when you try installing it. So this way you can release your models on XenoverseMods.com with an X2M bundled in. So what you're going to do is make sure to save your progress, of course. Obviously, I'm not using a skill. I'm literally just using the challenge 8. So you're going to want to press save. Open up your quest creator, and then what you want to do is just type in the name of your quest, type in the author's name, find your quest file. Now what you want to do, look for attach mod. You're going to want to drag the X2M you want inside of the mission to the desktop. Or, to make things even more simple, what you want to do with the X2M is make a folder, drag the X2M into that folder, go back to the quest creator, and then select the folder with the X2M in it, and then boom, bada, bing. There you go. Now your X2M is secured inside the mission, whether it be a skill or reward. Do not put a skill reward inside side of the character slot, or vice versa, quest will not work nearly as you would want it to. I don't even think it'll save, so if you want to try to, but that's pretty much it. You save it, you save it to your desktop, when you try installing it, it should look like this. And then you install the mission, and then your X2M should appear in the mission. 
Well, guys, that's about it. I understand you probably are looking for the tutorial. However, if you watched my last tutorial, you will notice the date down there. Does that look like the patch was updated? It is not. Currently, I hear Eternity is having some personal issues. I wish the best to Eternity, and I hear the Citadel is trying to make new patcher themselves. I hope they do well with that. However, I wanted to make this tutorial for you guys so you guys can get your feet wet. But when you can downgrade Dinoverse 2, you can and try this exact method, which works in 1.16, by the way. This is not just working 1.17. This works in 1.16. You can try just testing out See if you can get an X2M working inside of one of your missions. If you want to upload the Xenoverse mod when the patch is updated, you will be well experienced and versed in doing so. So guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, hope things made sense. I wanted to keep it short. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Best of luck to Eternity and the Citadel. And that's about it, everyone. I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.